Good evening, I'm Harry Keeling, and on behalf of Alaska Public Media and the Alaskan Aviation Safety Foundation, welcome to Hangar Flying. Our guest this evening is Bart Stone, who's been on our program before and is well known in Alaskan aviation circles. Bart's been flying in Alaska for over 50 years and has amassed over 30,000 hours. He's got an extraordinary amount of experience flying both fixed wing and helicopters. Bart's worked for Alaska Helicopters, CR Motive, and before his retirement last year, worked for the Office of Aviation Services, or OAS, for 22 years. Bart's been very active in Civil Air Patrol, and he currently flies uh, part-time for Rusts. I've had the pleasure of flying with Bart in a number of different aircraft, and I can tell you that I've learned an awful lot from that opportunity. Bart, welcome back. Good to be here. So one of the reasons I wanted to have you on tonight, uh, we are right uh, just starting hunting season. And as you and I have talked before, August is always a terrible month for accidents. And uh, it seems like we revisit every August, we revisit the topic, and try and come up with some ideas that maybe, maybe will prevent uh, that next accident. So appreciate you being on the, on the program. And uh, let's, let's just start with your general philosophy about flying safety and off airport ops. Well, you know, uh, what we see in August a lot is that the people that haven't been current all year, now they're suddenly going to go hunting with their airplane and uh, they're not current in the aircraft, much less current on landing on small areas and stuff like that. So there's a vast opportunity to use um, established runways that are marked for distances and check your performance standards uh, and see how well you're doing with the aircraft before they step off into the brush and uh, do some bush flying where they're going to be exposing themselves to let's say less than ideal conditions. So let's talk a little bit about because I know certainly when you were with OAS you did a lot of training and evaluating of people who do an off airport work. Talk about the kind of the criteria and the approach that you use to, to determine whether when a person reached that level of proficiency that was required. Well, it's, it's nice to have these marked runways like they've got at, at Palmer and in Fairbanks and Nanana now. Uh, but what a person really needs to know is and, and demonstrate to me safely is that can they put either the right wheel or the left wheel let's say they're in a, uh, a 185 or something like that where they don't know where the right wheel is because it's over on the side and they can't see it. But if you mark out a three foot by 50 foot box with some uh, surveyors flagging, some tape, uh, something like that, so you can see that box clearly. So you practice landing with either gear in that box. Once you've landed, stop, get out, and walk back and see where you actually landed in that box to verify to yourself that uh, you did land in that box, that three by 50, three feet by 50 foot. And um, if you can do it 10 times out of 10, you're probably ready to go to the bush because if you consider a 50 foot box, 50 feet in length, now we're, we're talking about a 400 or 500 foot strip, you know, that's, that's eating up quite a bit of the distance right there if they don't hit it right on, on time every time. And that's what they've got to, should demonstrate to themselves that they can do that over and over and over with either gear leg. So if they're landing on a small, narrow uh, strip in a, uh, on a ridge or something like that, they've got to know right, right where each wheel is at all times. So you've mentioned this to me a couple of times before, but uh, I think uh, you, you mentioned that your experience was a lot of times you go up with someone and they say, oh yeah, I, I was right, right in the box. And, You'd stop and you'd walk back there and find out something different. You'd, you'd walk back and you'd, if you don't walk back and look at your tracks, and of course it's good to walk anyway, stop where you're at, walk, walk, the, walk back, throw sticks out, throw big rocks out of where you just landed, look where you just landed, because you can usually tell because the tire will turn up rocks. Um, so you can sit there and you can say, oh, geez, I thought I was right there, but in fact maybe you weren't right there. and. If you're not there, the thing is, we always say, you know, don't land short and don't land too long. You know, the FAA standards of 
landing for commercial standards of landing within 200 feet and beyond of your landing spot, that's a pretty wide margin if you think about a bush operation of 200 feet. It's not acceptable at all. It's got to be somewhere down to 50 or even down to 20 feet in length. So um, I want to get you back on uh, next time and talk, talk about some more techniques and things like that. But I think what I heard you say today, which is something we all know, is if you're going to go out and do these kind of things, make sure that you're proficient and current. And if you need to, get a, a, an instructor who knows how to do these things in the airplane with you and, uh, and practice. Because if you, you go out there cold, it's going to be a bad right. ending. Uh, the last thing you want to do is just get your hunting partners or buddies and load them up in the airplane and go just really cold. You yeah. don't, you're not prepared at all. You're just going on the trip. You, you know, and so that's, that's what you're, it's a hard decision to go out and make the time, but that's what you have to do is make the time to go get proficient before you take your buddies. Great. Thanks. Thanks, Bart, for being on the program tonight. You're Ladies welcome. and gentlemen, I hope you, you are listening to some of the ideas that Bart has. He's done this a long time. And we want to we want to make August try to make August a little safer. We can get Bart on next time and talk about some more techniques for off air, air airport operations. So tune in then, and in the meantime, fly safe.